like it was supposed to make things easier by going to deep storage. No, it didn't. It, it just made them piss the fuck off. Like the only possible way is to fight for my goddamn life, and I don't have the ability to do that right now. And it checkpointed me here of all places. Like, this is going to wind up being the entire recording session, because this part is just silly and unnecessarily overpowered. Enemies. Alright, they destroyed the turret in about four seconds that time. Let's go in here. Fuck you guys. Did I leave anything in here? Anything at all? Of course not. Why did I have to be so th thorough? Hold up. Yeah, I wasn't that thorough. Reload. Where does this go? Hello. Oh, this is glass. Nice. Okay, so this is the room. I think. Yeah. Alright. So. If I. This. And drop in. Come out here. And let's see. If I can get up there, maybe. Okay, I have an idea. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Oh, because I've already been in there and locked it. Now I can't get in there again. Motherfucker, game. that, like that, like this, and drop in here and through here. Okay. Now then, that guy's stuck on the other side of that thing. So let's just go up before he knows entirely what he saw. Well, the fact that the glass is there, clearly, from this side, but I can walk right through it. Alright, now. This jump is silly and ridiculous, so I'm gonna get a little bit... God damn it. What am I on? What am I standing on right now? Oh, thank you. So far, I think we're alright. I'm not going to lock that, just in case I fall. Actually, you know what? I am going to lock it. And then I'm going to make a quick save. 
because fuck this shit. Should have been making quick saves all along. I haven't been. All right. <sighs> okay. Seriously? Why are you even there? Damn it! Ugh. I'm loading it. it. It prompted me too, and I couldn't hit the button. It's been an hour. I have made no progress. Why is the end of this game so damn difficult? Like, for real. That one operator being there, what is this? If this is, like, something I can do to remote do this, I'm gonna shuttle control. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it at all. I'm a little angry. All systems nominal. Fuck this game. <laughs> that upsets me. That upsets me beyond belief. All right, asshole. Where are you? I'm gonna break all of his shit. Fuck. This part of this game <laughs> gave me so much trouble. I could have just extended the thing. Uh, that, that makes me angry. What is this? Oh, he must be in there. Or not. There's nothing in here? Not even a fucking, like, weapon or some sort? Doll's cargo hold. Hmm. Well, first thing I'm gonna do... Eat some food. I've used everything in my arsenal right now. It's silly. Alright, files... Mission parameters. For immediate dispatch, Transstar Security Clearance Level Alpha Sigma required for access. Transfer file. Repo man, search Dahl. Commander Dahl, this is William Yu, acting chairman of the Transstar Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit, awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos-1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success, I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be psychotronics. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after. Hmm. Hunt down and disable Doll's tech officer who is hiding somewhere within psychotronics. All right. So, once again, this probably isn't going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hack this real quick. Uh, 
square. And down here. Just get this guy on my side. And sprint for the goddamn door. Still can't use those. God dang it. Alright. So, head to the lobby. I mean, I don't have much ammo to do anything with. It's silly. Uh, the one dude said he's in the uh, thing. I need to go back to my office and uh, do that whole rigmarole with the girl that I'm not looking forward to because that's a trophy that I want to get. I apologize because I, I keep saying, "Oh, we're we're gonna finish this. We're gonna we're gonna get through this game," and it's seventy parts later, and it's still not over. I kind of want it to be over because I want to start a new playthrough, but that's not happening. As you can see, it's crazy how much there is in this game, and I'm glad I went through the process of thoroughly exploring, or at least to the best of my ability, thoroughly exploring everything before I uh, did anything further because if I hadn't been in the shuttle bay, that would have been a lot harder before because that fucking technopath would still be here and that would not have been fun to fight that and the uh, military operators at the same time. That That would be a level of Insanity I'm not even prepared to deal with. Okay. I'm told my ops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transtar books. It's true. I do solve people uh, problems. Repair? Your workmates hide. Hacking. Alright, so I think... I have a way to get to my uh, office really sneakily. Might not work. I don't know what might be between that route. I hit the wrong button. Eight in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them. Okay, so yeah, I need to I need to get to my office quickly because he says that he's sent things to attack them. I guess and. Yeah, this guy. Life support. The clock is ticking. Cargo bay. Morgan, Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick, or this is the last time we'll be talking. All right. Oh, hello. Well, I'm glad I have this. Alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Alright, I need to get rid of that fucker. Because the game doesn't want me to... Go away. Thank you. Oh, wow. Is there going to be a fucking weaver in here? Good evening, here? Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Oh. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Morgan? Where are you? It's me, Luther. Hello. Nice to see you. Of course, you new operator. Holy shit. Um. Dude, what kind of trap did you lead me into?
All right, dude, you're on your own. Fuck that. How are they not guarding my office? Uh, take that. Bye, guys. Morgan. Could you please lock the door? I'll look for more neuromods while you're gone. Morgan. I can't believe you were able to find it. After all this time. Um, somehow I got credit for helping him. I didn't help him at all. I'm getting credit for shit I'm not even doing. I, I barely even talked to January. I didn't save him. I just showed him that I exist, essentially. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to fucking do at this point. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Those fucking operators are literal pains in the ass. HR expense in the Transtar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them, but you'll have to come out of the walls, rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. All right, before somebody else calls me, can I do this? Seriously? Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and I, none of the doors I don't are care. responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick, or this is the last time we'll be talking. Miss Elazar is right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Alright. This is gonna be horrible, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The game has been fine up until this point, and now, right whenever I run out of everything, the game throws the worst combination of enemies at me at once. <laughs> 